Today's presentation is about the causes of cold sores, and this is brought to you by www.coldsoretreatments.info. Now, cold sores are caused by the herpes simplex virus, and there are actually two different types of this virus, type 1 and type 2, although uh, usually it's just type 1 that causes cold sores on the mouth and the face. Um, in the majority of the people, it is type 1. And this virus can be contracted by direct contact, person to person. Either, you know, someone touching another person who is infected with the virus, either touching their saliva or their lips. Um, it's usually direct skin to skin contact. It's very, very rare that the virus can be passed other ways, um, such as, you know, for example, using the same towel. That most likely will not pass the virus uh, along to, you know, to other people. And once you do contract the herpes simplex virus, that virus stays forever. Even if it's not active, even if you don't have a current cold sore outbreak, you do have the virus in your body, um, just in a dormant state. And it does, the virus does remain dormant until the outbreak. And, you know, those outbra outbreaks can occur at any time. There's not really a set amount of time that it occurs. It really differs from person to person, depending on what circumstances you're in. Um, and you know some of the risk factors that are going on and we'll talk about those risk factors um, Usually those cold sores happen in the same exact location So if you get the cold sore on one side of your mouth um, Next time it comes back. It's usually coming back in that same exact place Although you know there are times when the virus can continue to progress and those cold sores can get worse for example you know, maybe a future outbreak will be worse than a previous one because you'll end up getting more cold sores or, you know, the sore will be larger. So it doesn't always happen exactly the same every time, but usually it's in about the same location, you know, each time the outbreak occurs. Now there are several risk factors. If you have the herpes simplex virus, um, these are things that you can be aware of to try and avoid future breakouts. Um, there's no way to actually cure the, the herpes virus, but there are things that you can do to be, to be proactive to try and help prevent you know, future breakouts. Um, the first thing is direct sunlight. That can bring on an outbreak. Um, so if you're going to be out in the sun, make sure to you know, protect your lips or whatever affected area with, with sunblock or wear a wide-brimmed hat or just make sure to try and keep your, your mouth out of that direct sunlight. Also, high levels of stress can, can cause an outbreak to begin. So if you're feeling stressed, you know, try and bring that stress level down. Um, any type of sickness, such as the flu or a cold, can bring, bring on an outbreak. Usually that's you know, a change in the immune system, and that virus will start to multiply and, and cause an outbreak to occur. Also, any type of hormonal changes can, can or may bring on um, a, a cold sore outbreak. The last thing to be aware of is <clears throat> an injury to your lips or your gums, any type of skin trauma or unusual treatment, even something like going to the dentist where your mouth is being stretched around and you're not used to that type of activity with your lips, that can bring on an outbreak. Now keep in mind that these risk factors, you know, they are all things that have been found to promote cold sore outbreaks, but it's different for every person. So you're just going to have to be aware of what's going on before your outbreak occurs so that you can understand you know, your own personal risk factors. And that's just a brief overview of the causes of cold sores. Um, we do have a lot more information on our website about treatment and other information about cold sores. So visit our website at www.coldsoretreatments.info.